Okay, let's quickly recap what we're doing. Remember, I'm solving the blue screen problem while explaining things what I'm doing. So, I got blue screen error and then I came here to check the mini dump folder and I found out that the driver that's caused the problem is actually my graphics card. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm going through the PowerPoint and answering the questions as I'm going back. So, I didn't make any hardware changes, any of these changes. Okay, that's fine. I didn't make any software changes either. I didn't install any new games or any new drivers. So that's fine. Okay, the next thing you want to do is start looking at the the symptoms of uh, blue screen errors. Now, this isn't very important, but it's always, always just good to keep your eyes open for these sort of stuff. First of all, the heat is, m m most of the heat problem is actually with lap laptops, so you just want to check, you know, move your hand where the air comes out and check, make sure it's the air is not too hot. If it smells of kind of burning, it's likely, you know, too hot. If it's, if your computer is maybe making noise, uh, the only noise you should be hearing is that your hard drive platter spinning or the fans in your computer. That's the only noise. If you maybe hearing clicking noise, maybe the fans hitting something else, wires inside the computer, you know, those sort of things. Or smell. Well, your, sm your computer is not going to smell of anything unless there's something burning or there's a dead animal in there or something. But yeah, these are just things to look out for. The next thing you want to do is find a pattern of when the blue screen error occurs. Now, this is very important and you c usually can find a pattern in your blue screen error occurrence so like for example you when you open a specific browser Google Firefox or whatever um, Internet Explorer or when you play a specific game or when you play an audio file or video file or when you open a specific software or when you open multiple windows at a time or at random times so when do you get blue screen error well I get blue screen error remember guys I'm going through the example I showed you and it's the graphic driver and I get blue screen errors because of this reason here when I open multiple windows at the same time okay that's fine okay we go next now you wanna check if the problem is actually software or hardware now one of the best ways I know is actually going to save mode save mode is basically where only basic files and drivers are loaded and win to run windows and it's a really good way to eliminate hardware or software based on the outcome of your little test to see which is the problem, which side of it is the problem. Now if you don't know how to go into safe mode, I'm going to show you how to do it here. Uh, all you do is go go to start, just restart your computer, then wait for it, and then as soon as this blue screen goes dark, as soon as the dark screen appears, what you're going to do is start tapping F8. Start tapping F8 and you should get this. Now when you get this you want to select safe mode using your arrows on the keyboard and just press enter and you will boot into safe mode. Here it'll just, it'll just load the drivers and the files that are needed to run Windows. So logged in, just log in into safe mode. Safe mode will, yeah, it'll just be like this. It'll uh, be black and kind of look like classic. Then, what you want to do here? Remember when I said find a pattern in your blue screen occur er error occurrence? Well, the, uh, now you, what you want to do is try and recreate the problem here. If you can recreate the problem here in safe mode, that means there's something wrong with your hardware side. But if you can't if we create the problem here, meaning you can't get blue screen error here when you do the same thing, then it's likely on the s software side. Please know that it doesn't always necessarily mean you know it's the hardware software. It can sometimes be wrong, but usually it does work. So safe mode does work. 
so you want to try and recreate the problem now my problem was when I create when I open multiple windows I get blue screen error now here let's open multiple windows if you see if I get blue screen error or not I'm likely not gonna get it I've opened up multiple windows but I'm not getting a blue screen error or anything uh, which which suggests that there's something wrong on the hardware side so that's that's good we know there's something wrong with the hardware Okay, now that we know there's something wrong on the hardware side, because when we tried to recreate the problem in the safe mode, it did not occur. The, s the blue screen did not occur. So that means there's something wrong, wrong with the hardware side. So blue screen, is sa blue screen in the safe mode means there's something wrong with the hardware. Now, what I suggest you do if there's something wrong with the hardware is do a visual inspection of inside of your computer and make sure all fans are running and inside of your computer is clean or if that's that's fine and there's nothing wrong with that you can re you replace the faulty hardware if you find the faulty hardware and you know replace it with the new one and make sure it's compatible with your motherboard or power supply and stuff like that now when I did a visual inspection of my computer I found that the fan on the graphics driver was not running when my computer was on so it suggests that there was heat building up and so because of overheating when I opened up multiple windows I got a blue screen error so there it was my problem was that that was actually a real problem and it still kind of is so I, I fixed my blue screen error but if you if you think the problem is in your software side because you didn't get blue screen error in the safe mode then what you want to do is whatever the driver is so for example my was the graphics driver you wanna update roll back uninstall and reinstall the drivers and see if that fixed the problem it usually does fix the problem so there you go my solution was remember that was a real real uh, blue screen error my solution was that this is the fan here the fan here as you can see this is my actual driver uh, sorry graphics card and the the fan on it was not running when I turned my computer on uh, when I visually inspected it and so I replaced it with this graphic card which hasn't got a fan but it's got a heat sink instead now I j this is just a few tips on what to do first of all do the easiest things first visual inspect inside of your computer and make sure all fans are running functional clean inside of your computer to remove any dust which can trap heat and these are things you shouldn't do don't ignore blue screens as they will not solve uh, the problem never install any cleaning or fixing software of the internet because 90 percent of the time they will not work they simply just want to sell the products I I've actually used loads of them and they do not work they just want to sell the stuff so don't install them they they're likely to actually you know make a computer worse than it actually is never delete files that are part of the operating system in Windows 7 some of the files are pre protected by trust installer to prevent users from accidentally deleting the important files but not all the files are protected by trust installer so do not delete the files unless you go I don't know copy of it or something like that so that's about it thank you very much for watching and if you have any questions please let me know and I'll reply to you very quickly or as soon as possible